Hi, I'm Don Roberts, and this is Motor Vessel Cygnus, Krogan 42, hull number 130, built in 1987. My wife and I have owned her for 10 years, and the purpose of this video is to show you a few of the improvements I've made to try to make life on board a little easier. The first thing I want to show you are these downspouts that I made many years ago. These downspouts direct the water away from the rail when it comes off the boat deck through the scuppers. They're made from two by two downspout material that I bought at True Value Hardware, uh, cut with my bandsaw, and then the flap at the top was heated to bend it over the, the rail, heated with a heat gun. Pretty simple to make, held in place by 3M 4400 fast setting adhesive. I will say that this is the second set I put on. The first ones we did uh, have been lost when we went through locks. So next time I go through a set of locks, I'm going to use some bigger fenders to keep us a little bit further away to keep the downspouts clear. The next thing I wanted to show you are these hangers that we use for the mooring lines. They're simple loops of nylon with plastic clips held through a footman's loop on the bulwark. The mooring lines are kept off of the deck and out of the way while we're uh, either tied up or underway, but they're readily in place to be used should you need them. The hangers are simple nylon straps with three-piece plastic buckles that can be adjusted in length, uh, held in, as I said, with a footman's loop. Now I realize people with a fiberglass bulwark rather than this wood trim would probably not want to drill into their fiberglass to hang them, but for us, this is convenient. The screws are short and don't penetrate the fiberglass. While I'm outside, I wanted to show you the screens that I made for the salon windows. These are teak frames with uh, turn buttons to hold them in place. I'll show you more details from the inside. From the inside, you can see that the teak frame is uh, not square. It's obviously shaped this to the window. The corners are half lap joints and there's a, an insert into a rabbit around the edges to hold the screen in place. There are two of these little blocks on the top and the bottom that fit into a routed curve in the frame, keeps the teak frame from being pushed into the inside of the boat. To stay on the topic of screens, this is a Plissé retractable screen that I installed on the cockpit doors from the salon. It was easy to work with the owner of Plissé to figure out how to modify the frames so that the screens could be installed. I had to add this filler block around the whole door to give a wide enough base for the screen to be installed. They slide easily and are very convenient. This is what it looks like when the screen is fully retracted. We also have a Plissé screen in the pilot house center window. This one retracts vertically and is out of the way. It was easy to install, no filler blocks were required in this situation. And the last topic on screens are the pilot house doors. This is just screen material stretched over the frame with a binding around the edges, snapped to the frame, easily held in place. When we take them down, we just fold them up and store them under the cushions in the settee. Took the uh, canvas maker about two hours to measure and make these uh, were a great addition that lets us keep the pilot house doors open and not have any bugs come in the boat. Back in the salon, a couple years ago, I worked alongside the carpenter from the Yankee Marina and Boatyard to build this settee into the salon. It included a cabinet in the corner that was specially sized to hold parts and toolboxes. The parts containers are on pull-out shelves and uh, the toolbox is on the bottom shelf. This makes it really convenient to get to screws, electrical parts, and other things that I need when I'm working on projects on the boat. As a part of the salon upgrade, I installed a table on an aluminum pedestal that had to be screwed into the deck and was so close to the settee that it made access difficult. This past winter, I built a new pedestal made from plywood and solid teak to uh, hold the table in place, but allow us to move it around. This can also be lowered to a cocktail table height by removing the brass ball and pin that holds the table up. 
This next upgrade may seem kind of silly, but when we were building the settee in the salon, we also upgraded the galley. I realized when we took the countertop off that these drawers didn't extend all the way to the back of the counter. They were very short, less than 12 inches. The drawers were so short that cooking utensils wouldn't even fit inside. I found a company in Texas that could make longer boxes, and we installed four 16-inch drawer boxes that give us plenty of room, reused the teak drawer fronts so that they still match the galley, and uh, improved our storage here immensely. Well, that's a bunch of ideas that I've had in the past. If you have any questions about them, contact me through the forum, and I'll be glad to answer uh, to provide any more details. Thanks.